God is a universal God. And I was just thinking about the scripture that said, if my people, which are called by my name, would humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, I'll forgive their sins and I will heal that land. How many know the land is sick today? The land needs a healing. Disease is rampant, sin is rampant, sin, sickness, addictions, you name it. Somebody knows someone that's suffering through. Somebody in your family is addicted to something. Somebody in your family is suffering lack. They need some more. And I'm here today to lay aside every weight. Forget about everything at your house. That bill you can't pay, praise the Lord, your mortgage that's behind, your car payments, the lack that you're suffering now. God doesn't want us to be suffering and walking in lack. Praise the Lord. I hope you're listening to me today because I like to be effective. Really, I like to walk out among you. Since I can't do that, I'm going to call on some folks to help me pray. Thank you. I will. I got 30 minutes and I used up about five of them. But we want to pray. We want to lay aside everything and take time at the Trinity Fest. We can say we had a great time at Trinity Fest. We did a lot of things. Praise the Lord. I got to get rid of this phone because I want to use my hand. Praise the Lord. We did a lot of things at Trinity Fest. And one of the things we did is recognize God. And thank him for the blessing. Thank you, Lord, for the blessing. Can you say that with me? Thank you, Lord, for the blessing. Thank you for blessing me. Because we realize he didn't have to do it. But he did. He did. He blessed us to come together again. To lift up a name that's above every name. Just saying the name Jesus. Praise the Lord. It'll relieve that anxiety in your life if you just call his name. You know why? There's power in the name. Struggling through. Sometimes we're not struggling through physical illness, but our mind is not clear. We can't sleep at night. Lay down to go to sleep and the mind keep rolling. Thinking about things. How can I come out of this? How can I do this? How can I do that? Praise the Lord. I thank God for peace that surpasses all understanding. Some of us have mental issues. Some of us have physical illnesses. Or you know someone. You're standing for someone. Praise the Lord. We need to pray. Prayer will change that thing. Prayer will strengthen that weak part of you. Prayer will heal. It'll heal the hurt. It'll enable you to forgive that person that wronged you. Praise the Lord. All of these people needing someone to pray for them. Today we're going to lift up a prayer. We're going to pray for all kinds of needs. And I'm going to ask some people to help me. Praise the Lord. I thank God for the ability to feel other people's pain. Everybody that's smiling ain't happy. Praise God. Everybody that look like they all right ain't all right. There's something on the inside, praise God, that needs a touch from God. I need for you to heal my spirit. I need you to strengthen my will. Maybe we don't have the will to say, yes, Lord. We need to tell him yes. We need to lift up holy hands and say, yes, Lord, I will. I will live for you. I'll go for you. Because he wants us to say yes. If you say yes, he'll take away the pain. If you say yes, he'll get, solve the problem. If you say yes, he'll use you. Praise God. I want to pray today. Everyone that's needing healing in the body, for the physical body, some kind of ache, some kind of pain, heart trouble, diabetes, high blood pressure, kidney disease, you name it. We're going to pray right now. Maybe you don't have it, but your mother has it. You don't have it, but your grandmother has it. Praise the Lord. Someone's in the hospital. Someone's in the nursing home. Someone needs a touch from God. Needs him to touch and heal. I want some people 
minister come. Praise the Lord. That you know you need healing. Ellen Reeves, you know. Sister Kim, come. You know you need a hand. You need a touch. Your family. Someone in your family. I know in my family, people are in the hospital. People are walking around with diseases. People need healing. We're going to touch and agree. Because if two of us can touch and agree, as concerning anything, I don't care if your mama in Mississippi. I don't care if she's in Baltimore. Prayer can go there. Because he said he sent his word and healed them. And the word that proceeded out of his mouth, it won't come back void. It'll do the thing that he sent it to do. So if he said, go to Minneapolis-St. Paul and touch Donna Brown now, guess what that word will do? Find me right here. It'll find me right now. It'll touch my infirmity and it'll heal me. Praise God. I can be whole. Where I'm weak, I can be strong. In the Lord, in the things of God. You know, we attend to everything. We let that spiritual man suffer like. And we need to take time and say, God, I want to. I want you to rise up in me. I want you to make me over. I want you to breathe on me again. How many want the breath of God? The breath of God to breathe on you one more time. Lord, do it for us again. That thing in me that's been died, but it should be living. It should be breathing. He can breathe on us and make us whole. Praise the Lord God. That ministry you should be doing. Well, but you're too scared. You're too shamed. You don't want the people to know. Praise the Lord. You're afraid to call his name too loud. Jesus Christ himself, Lord God Almighty. Praise the Lord. The one that raised us. The one that saved us. The one that filled us. The one that healed us. The one that keeps us. Jesus Christ himself. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. For it is the power. How many of us want that power? How many of us need power now? I need it right now. So right now power. Power to live right. Power to walk right. Power to talk right. Power to do the right thing at the right time. We are asking God a universal prayer. A prayer for the nations. Prayer for the people. I look at the TV and I see them burying people over in Africa. And my heart weeps. Oh God, you are God. And you're the God of all nations. You're the God of all people. You can do it. I start praying right then. That mother, those babies. God, do it for us again. Because I know that you're able. I know that you can. I know there's no failure in God. Praise the Lord. And he has a plan for you. I know the plan I have for you. Plan of good and not of evil. A plan to prosper you. Praise the Lord. Everyone that will receive. I know everybody needs the plan. But the ones that will receive it. I want you to raise your hand. The ones that will receive the prayer today at Trinity Fest. Right now. Praise the Lord. So I'm still going to raise hand. Praise God. That's all right. Because I'm praying for the ones that raise their hand. That said, I'll receive you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want the prayer partners to go among the crowd. Those that will receive the prayer. The first prayer I pray will be for healing. Physical healing to the body. Physical healing to the body. Physical healing to the body. And then I'm going to pray for your mental issues. That's what the devil is using now. He's depressing them from the pulpit to the back door. They don't mind saying I was a little depressed so I didn't come to church. The devil is a liar. He's a coward. Praise the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, I present these people before you today. See, whoever, hold your hand if you need physical healing. In the name of Jesus. For he promised to heal us. He promised to heal us. And we use the word of God against the enemy. He said, my son, attend to my word. Keep it before your eyes. 
in the midst of your heart. For that word is life. Did you hear what I said? The word is life to those that find it. That let me know some won't find it. But to those that find it, the word of God is life. And in the rest of the scripture says, and it is help to all of our flesh. Everything, our heads, our hearts, our feet, our mind, every part of our flesh, the word is life to our flesh. I want to thank God for touching that man. Thank you, Lord. Suffering man. But your word, Lord, found him. Your word, oh God, will do the thing that you sent it to do. It'll heal the body. It'll heal the mind. I thank you right now, God, for touching that woman, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Suffering through sickness and disease, hurt and pain in her body, oh God. But you are the healer. You are Jehovah Rapha. You are the God that healeth thee. Our faith looks up to you, God. Now faith is that substance of the things we hope for our healing there in the name of Jesus we call it forth I call it forth I call it forth I call it forth I call healing to the body I call it forth in the name of Jesus touch your God with your divine touch because you are God there's none other like you no one else can do what you can do you can heal oh God you can do a miracle to that man, to that woman that needs a miracle of healing. You are the healer. You took our infirmities, oh God. You bear our hurt. You bear our pain. And with your stripes, oh God, we are healed. How many believe that we're healed now? How many believe that there's healing in the blood of Jesus? The shed blood of Jesus Christ himself. The blood of Jesus. The blood still works. It still heals the blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus. We apply it to that illness. We apply it to that pain. We apply the blood to the hurt. And we declare. He said we could decree and declare a thing. Praise the Lord. He said the power of life and death is in our tongue. That's why we don't mind. Speaking it. Yes. Speaking it. Saying it. I'm healed. Yes. I am healed. In Jesus' name. Yes. Jesus Christ Himself yes. carried my sicknesses, yes. bore my grief, and with His stripes, the stripes of Jesus Christ Himself. Yes. Every one of those stripes, not only for our salvation, but for our healing. Because he wants us to be whole. Yes. Will thou be made whole? You know when he got ready to heal the man, he asked him, do you believe that I can do this? Yes. It's our faith that makes yes. us whole in him. Do you believe that he can heal you? Yes. Do you believe that God can heal you? Do you have faith enough to believe God for your healing? Praise the Lord. I thank God for touching those that are standing in faith. Touching them and, and healing them whole in Jesus' name. I thank God that we walk by faith and not by sight. God touch the woman. Touch her right now. Touch the infirmity and heal it in the name of Jesus. Touch the man, oh God. Touch the boy. Touch the girl, Lord. Oh because we ask you to whatsoever thing she asks in my name, that will I do, that the Father might be glorified. And if you ask anything, you are delivered and you are healed. I'll do it. Praise the Lord. Thank you for doing it today. Thank you, Lord, for joining us together. Joining our faith. Giving us to look up and see you and know you, God. Give my word abide in you. You abide in me. My word abide in you. You can ask what you will. Praise the Lord. We're going to pray now for prosperity. Praise the Lord. How about you? Do you want to prosper? You want that obstacle to be removed out of your way? That hindrance block? That thing that you desire to do, but you don't have enough to do it with. You don't have the finances. See, if I pay my mortgage note, I can't pay my car note too, and my electric bill, and my gas bill. And I can't go and give to that charity. I can't do the thing that I want to do because I don't have enough. 
I know I'm not the only one like that. Next month I'll catch up. I know I'm not the only one. Praise God. I know God is a healer. I know he'll supply every need we have. And not only the need, what about the desire? He said, if you delight yourself, you'll be glad about me. You have some joy in you. When they call my name, you have great joy. Then I'll give you the desires. Not only will I meet your need, I'll give you some of your desires. I got a whole bunch of praise the Lord. I want to pray that we come out of lack. Prophet is stalling. I like to see that in the GM network every time I turn on the TV. And everywhere else, I like to see it on the big billboard on the freeway. Faithful, laborer, putting us out there, promoting us with little or nothing. God is rich. How many know he's not a poor God? Praying for lack right now. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we pray right now, God, that you would bring us out of lack. You don't want us to suffer lack. You want us to be have that abundant blessing. You said the enemy come to kill. Kill our joy, steal from us. Yes, he does. Kill your enthusiasm. Kill your ability. Kill the thing, your dream, that thing you wanted to do. He come to steal and to kill and to destroy. Thank God, thank God, thank God. Somebody say thank God for the victory. Because I am come, Jesus Christ said it. Woo! He put the cap on it. He said, but I am come. Trinity Fest, he said, I am come. That you might have life. Not just a little life. Not just to get by. Abundant life. I've come. That you might have an abundant life. More life. More life. I speak life over this crowd today, God. I speak life to everything that should be living in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare things that that man will have enough and even more than enough to prosper him. To put him out there, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Rich in the things of God. The blessings of the Lord make it rich and add no sorrow to it. We can just go prosper, go forward in the name of Jesus. No limits on us. No limit on the things that we can do because we trust in him. I praise God for the victory. Jesus said in the world, you're going to have some tribulation. But be of good cheer. In other words, don't worry about it. Don't let it tie you down. Don't let it weight you down. Because I have overcome that thing that's hindering. Don't worry about that. Praise the Lord. The thing you wanted to do, but you couldn't do it because you didn't have enough. Somebody discouraged you on the way. Somebody say you can't do that. Praise the Lord. Somebody say you crazy. You can't do that. He said be of good cheer. For I, Jesus Christ, have overcome that obstacle. Whatever it was, I say was because I put it in the past, that's keeping you from going forward, that stumbling block, that hindrance, we pray today that it be moved and removed. Because the scripture said, Very, very I say unto you, whosoever, I love that. But that don't have to, you don't have to be the bishop, you don't have to be the pastor, you don't have to be nothing. Because it said, whosoever, whosoever, Whosoever. That's me. Praise the Lord. Whosoever sank to the mountain. Mountain of sickness. Mountain of disease. Mountain of poverty. Mountain move. I got that speaking authority. Because Jesus gave it to me. He said the power and authority that the Father gave me. Give I you. So you can do it too. Praise God. He said mountain be removed. Be cast into the sea. In other words, be no more. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Be removed. Mountain be removed. Be cast into the sea. If. Now, there's an if attached. If. If you don't doubt me. If you don't doubt. Praise the Lord. In your heart. If you don't doubt that I can do it. 
praise the Lord. I'll do it for you. I'll do it for you. And then you can have whatsoever you say. Now look at that scripture. Whosoever can have whatsoever. Then put no limits on it. Isn't that wonderful? Whosoever say it and believe it in their heart can do whatsoever. Whatsoever you say. I say I'm healed. I say I'm well. I say I'm strong. I say mountain be removed in the name of Jesus. Power and authority that's given unto me. I exercise it and I thank God for it. Praise the Lord on today. How much time do I have? Am I through? Five minutes? Five minutes to bless you again. This is the thing I love to do. I want to see the people blessed. When I pray, I don't just pray for myself and my husband and my child. I pray for everybody. Let that prayer go, Lord, to the nations of the world. Because you are God of all. You're universal God. You love everybody. Pray for the children. Pray for the children. Shout out if you have a special request. Shout it out. Finances. Finances. Healing. Shout it out. Peace. Deliverance. Peace. Peace. All of those things. It's real easy for God. Praise the Lord. Reconciliation. Racialness. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. There ain't no ethnic, no ethnic stuff in, in, in him. We just all the same. Ain't no denomination. Praise God in him. Ain't no gender in him. Praise the Lord. You can't do it because you're a woman. Ain't that, that, look out now. The word is life. You just deliver that word, praise God, and let it do the work. I want to pray right now. I see minister waiting to sing. God bless you, pretty lady. Listen, how many just have a faith? Just a pure faith. Just a pure faith. You ain't no wonder. You just believe God. How many have just a faith? I have the faith. Praise God. And we're going to join those faith today at Trinity Fest praying for my brother, praying for my sister, praying for my sisters in Africa, praying for my brothers all over the land. Praise the Lord, God. Woo! I can feel the prayers going forward. We have a heart that's so compassionate till we are determined to pray for others. We have to. We have to pray. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we speak a word. We speak a word. We speak a word, a word that'll bring healing. We speak it in faith, believing you, God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. Thank you now for Trinity Fest. Thank you for all the praises that have gone up already and all the ones that'll come after us. But we took the time here to recognize our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, the one that makes it all possible. And as we go forth, God, we will remember who you are. We are because of who you are. In the name of Jesus, we bless these people, oh God. Every one of them, every person under the sound of my voice, be blessed in Jesus' name. Take him as your Savior. Take him as your Lord. Don't leave here like you came. Praise the Lord. God, and we are going to continue to give you praises and glory for who you are. The mighty God, the King of glory, the Lord God Almighty. We thank you. I want to take one minute. Because there's somebody that don't know him. You're not saved. You have not committed your life. Praise the Lord. I'm not going to ask you to come up here. I'm just going to ask you to make a commitment in your heart. I'm going to ask you to say, I believe in Jesus Christ. I believe he's a son of God. Whoever that person is right now, you know who I'm talking to. You know you are not living a life that's pleasing to God. I want you to change it today. I want that to be in the past. I want you to be a new creation in him. I want you to say, yes, Lord, I will. I'll make you the Lord of my life. I'll change all of those old ways. I will become a new creation in you today. Today, right now, I, I will receive you as my Lord and my Savior in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Go forth in him.